there's a whole other class that I want to mention. It's a targeted treatment that you need to be aware of if you're thinking about metastatic bladder cancer. And this group of therapies is called, is called antibody drug conjugates. Sounds very um, complex, but let me break it down. So the, the first part is the antibody part. That's the Y part on this particular picture that you can see. And that Y part binds to a very specific protein on a cancer cell and is targeted to that cancer cell because of the Y, the way that the Y binds. And that is very specific and important. That's one of the most important parts of this drug. Then the antibody drug conjugate has a linker, which is basically just a connector to what they call on this, um, on, on this particular diagram, a warhead, or is essentially the treatment, the thing that will kill the cancer cell. And it's, it's indicated by sort of the red, that red warhead or that red floret on this picture. So essentially what this drug approach is, is trying to use its very targeted antibody, Y, linked to a certain protein that's hopefully mostly just on the cancer cell, and deliver its very potent either chemotherapy or targeted drug right there and dump all of that toxic stuff right on the cancer cell, kill the cancer cell and leave the rest of the body basically, hopefully untouched. So one of these is infortimab vidotin. And this is one of the, the one that's farther along in development, really effective treatment. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. Its target, its antibody Y is targeting a particular protein called nectin-4. And you can see in the diagram here, that's an anti-nectin-4 antibody. So the Y tries to get to this protein called nectin-4. And when it gets there, it's dumping a really nasty chemo right on top of it called MMAE. And that chemo is so potent that we would not wanna give it to a person um, without that targeting because it can really damage the cells. And it does, and it's really importantly damaging those cancer cells and hopefully not the person. And I've treated many people with this particular treatment and it's highly effective and, and people even in their eighties and who have other medical problems can get this treatment safely. But it's important to be monitored of course with a doctor but it's, it's, it's been an advance, I think, that's been very transformative in this field. So this is a schematic of a, of a trial that recently has been presented, um, looking at infortimab vidotin. This included, on the left, you can see people who have metastatic bladder cancer that's growing after chemotherapy and immunotherapy, so the two other treatment approaches that I showed you earlier. And people got either infortimab vidotin or another different chemotherapy. And the study asks which group lives longer, which group is gonna do better. And here we have another survival curve. So we get another test of our uh, ability to read these survival curves. And what you could see, separation of curves mean, means that one group is doing better. And the group that's doing better is the group that got the infortimab vidone by a lot, 30% reduction in death when they were treated with infortimab vidone versus a different chemotherapy. And really um, this beautiful, big separation of curves demonstrates that there's actually nice and strong advantage to that treatment with infortimab vidotin, that antibody drug conjugate um, as compared to the older chemotherapy options that we had. And this is of course in a group of people who had already had chemotherapy in the past. So it's not the chemos that I talked about, the cisplatin and the carboplatin, these are, different second and third line chemos that we might use if the other chemos no longer are working. But this is really, really important, I think, will um, be something that we think about as we move forward a lot. Um, so infortimab vidone is also called PADCEF. And some of the most common side effects that of course um, we should review here include things like skin rash. Um, it can include some high blood sugar and some other complications, but generally these are very similar complications to regular chemotherapy. But the ones I wanna mention just so that we're all aware are some more, some more uh, potent skin reactions that your doctor needs to watch for, some pretty significant neuropathy that numbness and tingling in the longest nerves in the body and the fingers and the toes, sometimes eye problems, though not as commonly as urtafitinib, high blood sugar, which is kind of a unique thing about this, and inflammation in the lungs, a little bit of cough. So important that a doctor is monitoring and watching, but uh, generally quite a safe um, 
treatment under a doctor's supervision. And finally, we'll, we'll talk about sasetuzumab govotecan, another mouthful, but another antibody drug conjugate. This one is targeting against a protein on the cancer cell surface called trope 2 and it hones there and it binds to trope 2 and it dumps something called SN38, which is um, something very similar to a renotecan, which is a, a, a chemo that we use in some other situations and other cancers. And when that arenotecan is targeted to the cancer and dumped there, it can help people live longer, it can help them feel better. But of course it has side effects um, that we'll talk about in a second. This drug is also approved for patients with breast cancer. So not just used in urothelial carcinoma. So it's also called Tridelvi. And so these are the side effects that we can think about. Things like diarrhea are some of the more common effects. And that's very common because arenotecan, we know as a chemotherapy causes that. And so we use anti-diarrheal medicines to help resolve that diarrhea. We can also cause blood count issues, some nausea, but generally people feel okay when they're on this medicine. And again, it's also used for people with breast cancer. So is something that has been tried in other cancer populations and can help people live longer, not just in urothelial carcinoma, but also in breast cancer. There are multiple other trials that are going on. Um, trials that are looking at things like infortimab vidotin plus immunotherapy or sasetuzumab govotecan plus immunotherapy or different immunotherapy drugs, nivolumab and ipilimumab used together, um, as well as multiple other uh, approaches. These are just a couple. So it's important, I think, for all of us to recognize that even though this is not a disease that we can cure, it is a disease that we are attacking from every front and using every bit of technology and brain power that we have to make a difference 